Time for another Superior Shipwreck in 60 seconds. Today we're looking at the SS Emperor. Built in 1911 in Collingwood, Ontario, it was the largest ship built in Canada at the time, earning the nickname the Pride of Canada. In the early morning hours of June 4, 1947, the Emperor departed Port Arthur, Ontario, carrying a load of iron ore headed towards Ohio. The captain handed over watch duties to the first mate and retired around midnight. At 4.15 a.m., the Emperor crashed into Canoe Rocks off the Isle Royale and broke in two. Within 10 minutes, the captain ordered the crew to abandon ship. Sadly, one of the lifeboats was sucked underwater as the emperor sank. The U.S. Coast Guard heard their SOS signal and rescued 21 of the 33-person crew and recovered one body before taking them all to Fort William. Twelve sailors lost their lives in the disaster, including the captain, first mate, and helmsman. An investigation blamed the sinking on the first mate, who was sleep-deprived, and the helmsman, who was unfamiliar with the area. The bow end of the wreck has sustained damage due to ice and its shallow depth, lying just 25 feet below the surface. The stern is in better condition and is under 175 feet of water. It has been confirmed that this is the final resting place for several of the crew members. Don't forget to check out our Shipwrecked Lake Superior exhibit open at the Legacy of the Lakes Museum until October 31st. You'll also want to attend the presentation by So Terrible a Storm author Kurt Brown on September 13th.